That's better. Just a, a video interview for Vodafone Rugby Tribe. Oh, okay. Well, you've been playing, um, you know, Super Rugby for, for a few years now, Jimmy. Um, and tonight was your final game um, in New Zealand. What was your most memorable occasion in all those years of playing Super Rugby? Oh, you know, it's pretty hard to to put one, uh, you know, put one straight up. But um, you know, Super Rugby is the best rugby in, in you know, in the world. So, um, you know, I've enjoyed every game. Um, I suppose uh, one to memory uh, down when I played for the Hurricanes. Um, we played uh, a semi-final against um, the Waratahs and I was lucky enough to, to get an opportunity to kick a penalty from uh, about 55 metres and, and, and nailed it to, to secure our spot in the final. So that was probably one of the, one of the ones that stick out in my mind. But um, any game uh, of Super 40 I've really enjoyed and especially this year with the Blues, um, I've really enjoyed uh, every single game and just the, the, the way they play the rugby and, and the you know, the mates you get, uh, it's pretty outstanding. Most disappointing moment? Just uh, there'd be a few with that. <laughs> I suppose, uh, again, that the final, um, Super 14 final, I was involved with uh, against the Crusaders. Mm. Uh, the fog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I suppose that's one of the memorable ones as well, but disappointing that, um, you know, the fog came in and, and that was our real opportunity to, to win a title. But um, I suppose, yeah, that can be the, the most disappointing. A lot of people want to know what made you go from playing for Wellington to come up and play for North Harbour and the Blues. What, what was the reason behind that? I just felt uh, I was getting a little bit stale. Um, I'd been playing down there for, for a very long time um, and I just needed something fresh and you know to go out and ask Wellington for a release and, and ask to, to move on um, was a big, uh, you know, it was, it was hard but um, you know, for North Harbour and the Blues have given me a great opportunity to play here and I've absolutely loved every moment of it. And if you weren't a professional rugby player, what do you think you'd, you'd rather do, would be doing if you weren't playing rugby? Oh, I'd love to be a professional surfer, mate. <laughs> Travel around and uh, surf all the ways around the world would be, uh, be outstanding. And uh, fishing or diving? Is, is it, would, would, you, would you prefer fishing or diving? Oh, I love diving, um, yep. but uh, I'm still, I love fishing as well, but diving, uh, nothing beats, beats a, a good deep dive and uh, seeing all the fish around and do a bit of spear fishing as well. Awesome. And you got anything to say to the, to the fans that have you know sort of supported you around the traps, whether you've been playing for the Hurricanes or for North Harbour or for the Blues? Uh, just thank you. Um, you know, we as rugby players and as professional sportsmen ab absolutely love support and um, you know, the fans over the years have been outstanding and uh, especially this year, you know, the, we haven't been uh, getting the results we wanted but the fans have, have just stayed and, and really supported us and uh, you know, we get we get a you know we get a good good uh, lot of support and it makes us play a little bit better and, and you know just keep supporting the, the blues or, or any team you love because it's uh, it's a great competition. Awesome, thanks very much to me and good luck for your career in Newcastle. Thank you very much.